go ahead you ready my mouth is watering That is so good. Mm-hmm. Hi, kisses, and welcome back to Nina Ready Eats. Today, I am going to be having one of my favorite meals. I just finished cooking this, and it is hot, and it is delicious. I tasted it on my cooking show. Let's say a quick prayer before I dive into this. And I also have my napkin, fork, and sparkling water. Welcome to the show. All right. All right. I already tasted the green lip muscle, so I'm going to go ahead and dive into the egg. Let's go ahead and eat. Mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. The best time to eat is when you are hungry, baby. I love sparkling water. Perrier is my all-time favorite water, other than Fiji. So how has everyone been? I wanna know. Mm. So good. Mm. I'm telling you the best thing is this. You gotta love the gifts of Mother Nature, baby. Oh my God. Why are Rune muscles so good? So this is a baby red potato. Mm. Put it in that sauce. Oh yeah. I have missed you guys so much. Mm. How has your New Year's been? I'm just curious to know what the beginning of everyone's year has been like. Magical things happen when you put love into your food. Mm -hmm. mm.
whenever you are making a home cooked meal and you're like in a really positive, calm, happy like mood, it just you could tell because it just reflects on your food. You really can tell. Mm. I am so interested in trying new restaurants and um, I just want to expand my palate when I'm eating. I know that I love seafood. I just, I have this relationship with seafood. I don't know why or how. Um, so, and there's so many different ways to make seafood. So I want to try i think the next time excuse me i think the next time i make these excuse me i think i'm gonna make them with some sort of like mushroom soy bean sauce and add noodles to it mm. Mm. When you get those little pieces of onions and peppers stuck inside of the the muscle, it gives it like a little burst of juice because all the flavor from the gravy is stuck inside of the onion. So when you chew it, so it just kind of pops in your mouth. It's good. It's like a burst of flavor. You know what I'm wondering? How long does it take for, you know, I gotta look this up. I get always get curious about the most strangest things. Like how long does it take for an actual green lip muscle to mature to its full size? Cause these are pretty big. And where does the green come from? I know they call it green lip muscle cause this is green. But where does the color green come from? Is it from the algae? Are they eating algae? What are green lip mussels eating? Now I have all these questions. Now I'm going to have to go down the whole Google path and figure out where do you guys come from? I know you come from the ocean, but what's your life like? Hmm. Yeah. I'm getting full. But that was amazing. Another recipe that I think I'm gonna share with you guys is shrimp fried rice. The other day I made shrimp fried rice with asparagus, mushrooms, onions, egg, and I think that was it. Excuse me. I might add a few more, like I might add scallions or something, but I wanna give you guys my little homemade recipe for shrimp fried rice. It's really good. Excuse me. And I feel like when you cook at home, you know all the ingredients that you put in into your food. You know the expiration date, you know how long you've had it. There's a lot of pluses that come from cooking your own meals at home. And if you guys are interested in my prep video, I really wanna make you guys a prep video. I feel like 
It will be very informative. It will teach you how to um, make cooking so much easier. You can just be ready to go. But there's a few things that you can do to speed up the process. Like, you know, cut up your, pre-cut your onions, your garlic, pre-cut your scallions, your peppers. Um, you can pre-cut your mushrooms if you're gonna make mushroom sauce and freeze them. So I'm learning a lot of quick techniques to make my cooking experience a lot more uh, graceful. That's the word. I want to kind of just be free flowing through my kitchen and not have to be like, oh my God, I have to cut up onions or I have to cut up a pepper or I have to cut up um, my mushrooms or my carrots or whatever. I want to bring you guys more the kind of videos that are going to be more of quality and more informative. And I feel like I have all this information that I just want to pass on to my viewers and yeah so kisses to all my kisses you guys stay positive stay strong i'm looking at this like are you gonna take one more bite and i'm telling myself you know you are and i'm like no save a little bit for later because <laughs> you're gonna get hungry later all right so let me do this let me take them off the shell and leave them in the sauce and then what i can do then is boil down some pasta and toss it with my mussels. This, they're so delicious and I do not want them to go to waste. Oh, another video that I wanna share with you guys, if you're interested, so if you could please leave a comment and let me know is, for example, I have this dish right here. It has a lot of gravy, has a lot of sauce, it has potatoes, it has mussels in it. Are you just going to throw away all that delicious gravy? What you can do is, or maybe I'll show you that in a video. I was about to give away the sauce, but you guys, stay tuned. There's a lot more coming. I miss you. I love you. And I will see you guys very, very soon on my next video. Leave a comment and let me know what we should cook next. I'm thinking shrimp and fried rice. But... If you guys want something else, let me know and I'll make it for you guys. And I'll try something new myself. Stay positive, stay strong. Until next time, bye guys.